How's it going everybody? Daner here with North Central Coins and welcome back to another episode of the most rare and valuable coins. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing a rare coin from the Philippines that can be worth some crazy amounts of money. Some of the Philippines coin varieties are highly sought after and significant pieces among collectors worldwide. This piece was minted during a pivotal period in Philippine coin history and holds immense value and historical importance. Because this coin has a few varieties and was minted to commemorate a significant event, it's one that you might just have a decent chance of stumbling upon in your collection. In this video, we'll delve into the historical context surrounding the production of this rare and valuable peso and explore why it holds such importance in Philippine numismatic history. Additionally, we will take a look at any distinguishing and identifying features it's significant amongst collectors and also the potential value if you're ever to discover a legitimate example. Before I do get into this, I would really appreciate if you guys would smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and also ring that bell notification so you can follow along with my new content as it is being released. And make sure to stick around until the end of the video if you'd like to find out how much you could get for this coin if you do own one. And then without any further ado, what do you say we get right into it and discuss the 1907 Esment Peso. Let's get it, guys. The Philippine Peso, affectionately known as the Peso in Filipino, holds a distinguished status as the official currency of the Philippines, with its value tied to the nation's economic narrative. Divided into 100 centimo or centivos, it is symbolized by the unmistakable P and managed by the esteemed Banco Central NG Philippines or the BSP and is integral to the country's financial stability. This currency's lineage traces back to the Spanish colonial era where it emerged from a vast lineup of pre-colonial and colonial monetary influences. Draped in a history as diverse as the archipelago that it represents, the peso has journeyed through the years and evolved, adapting to the shifting tides of economic difficulties. From its inception during the Spanish colonial reign, where it shared prominence with an array of currencies, to the advent of machine-minted colmineros in the 18th century, the peso bore witness to the ebb and flow of historical currents. Fractional currencies, including the locally minted copper or bronze coins, added layers of complexity to its monetary landscape, reflecting the multifaceted nature of Philippine society. The 19th century ushered in a bimetallic standard for the peso, tethering its value to that of silver and gold. However, the fluctuations of international gold prices cast a shadow over its stability, precipitating monetary crises that punctuated the nation's economic trajectory. With the new dawn of an American era marked by the Philippine Coinage Act of 1903, the peso found its bearings tied to the steadfast anchor of the US dollar, navigating through the tumultuous waters of global economic upheaval. During World War II, the Japanese occupation of the Philippines brought significant changes to its monetary system. The introduction of fiat notes or currency led to hyperinflation, causing economic turmoil. However, after the war, the Central Bank of the Philippines, or the BSP, was established, and in 1949, with the crucial task of stabilizing the country's currency and financial system. Over the following years, the peso underwent various reforms aimed at improving its stability and value. These changes, including adjusting currency terms and revising exchange rate policies, all aimed at driving the nation towards economic growth. In 1993, a new era began with the Central Bank of the Philippines taking on greater autonomy and responsibility for managing the economy. By adopting a fully floating exchange rate system, the Philippine peso became more responsive to market forces, reflecting the country's commitment to economic stability and progress. Despite facing challenges from global economic fluctuations, the peso has remained a strong pillar of the Philippine economy, representing resilience, determination, and national pride in the face of adversity. Now amidst this rich tapestry of Philippine numismatic history, the 1907 binational peso stands out as a luminary beacon, casting its radiant glow upon the annals of coinage lore. 
This coin was crafted through a collaborative effort between the United States and the Philippines and serves as a poignant reminder of the transformative era in both nations' economic landscapes. With a mintage of no fewer than 10 million, the US Philippine peso from 1907 with an S mint mark indicating that it was minted at the San Francisco Mint emerged as a rare gem that is cherished by discerning collectors looking to add a touch of numismatic history to their esteemed collections. So to identify this extremely rare Filipino Holy Grail coin, you are first looking for the denomination of one peso, and then you are looking for the date of 1907. Now the date on Filipino pesos is located on the reverse underneath the design of the eagle. To identify the S mint mark, which will indicate that it was struck at the San Francisco mint in the United States, you want to take a look at the left of the date, and it should be underneath the dot or denticle that is on both the left and the right of the date on the Filipino one peso coin. Now, if you can identify these three factors, it has the date of 1907, it is a Filipino one peso, and it also has the S mint mark, you have yourself a fairly rare gem that can be worth a few dollars, even if it is not in the greatest shape. If I had to give an estimate, I would estimate that you can get anywhere from 50 to a couple hundred dollars for these, even if you find one in a scrap silver purchase or maybe you buy a bag of foreign coins and you search through it. If you can identify all of the identifying features, it is still a fairly rare coin that anyone interested in coinage from the Philippines will definitely want for their collections. And if you actually live in the Philippines, you probably have an even better chance of being able to find one of these coins. Beyond its intrinsic rarity and it also exceptional quality, the 1907 Esmint Peso embodies a profound historical narrative, weaving together the shared heritage and symbiotic relationship between the United States and the Philippines. Each of these coins serves as a tangible artifact bearing witness to the collaborative efforts and enduring legacy of the two nations intertwined by their destinies. An example of this coin sold in 2019 for $15,600 and another example sold in 2022 for $31,200. Now these are examples of the coin that are in exceptional shape, so we are talking MS66, MS67, but if you were to find one of these and it scored any higher, you could easily be talking a $50,000 to $100,000 coin. This piece's monetary worth transcends mere valuation. It offers collectors a tangible connection to the past and an indelible link to the rich tapestry of Philippine numismatic heritage. As a cherished emblem of the artistic craftsmanship and historical significance, the 1907 Binational Esmint Peso stands as a timeless testament to the enduring allure and timeless beauty of rare coins. Now, what do you guys think about the 1907 S Mint 1 Peso Filipino coin? What would you do if you ever found a legitimate example or if you ever have found any of the coins that I discussed in this video? Please let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. Also, I would really appreciate if you guys would smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and also ring that bell notification so you can follow along with my new content as it is being released. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for this one, folks. So until the next one, everybody, peace out and have a good one, y'all.